Politics was never in my family or in my blood. I hadn't even voted before, but I saw the deep need for something better in our country. I knew I had to stop complaining, stand up and be counted and run for parliament. There is a seriously angry country out there, more divided than it has ever been, more disconnected from Westminster than it's ever been. People say politics is broken. I agree, but it's not dead. We must reignite our efforts to make politics truly of, by and for the people. I hear the cries to write off this political system once and for all. But we either let that pass us by unmoved and unrepentant, creating the vacuum that extremists like to fill. Or we seize the moment, we face up to our failures and we serve and we lead. We have to change the view of politics from a cynical game to an optimistic opportunity to change lives for the better. They show you that politics is changing. It's like a horse has just bolted out the stable. Okay, and the current generation, we're all kind of standing around blaming each other as to who left the door open, right? It's gone already and they've been overtaken by events. So we either have to, as younger people, as younger moderate centre, centre-right conservatives say, yeah, okay, we'll kind of leave that, you know, Corbyn can go running after this horse, you know, and, and so on. But it'll come back and the policies will fundamentally change this country and what it means to be British and live here. And people like me, I'm afraid, are not, are not here for that. Okay, we have to go and get that thing, okay, and we have to saddle it and we have to form it what we believe in, what the poorest people in this country deserve and what they believe in. And if we could do that, right, if we can harness this amazing power that young people have these days, that uh, our generation has the, the, the sort of energy, the incredible energy uh, in these events, we can genuinely go and change the country and we can change the world. Thanks very much.